YouTube friends. This is Richard Maybe with Richard Maybe Presents. Um, the theme of this show is comic book stores. What happened to them in Central Florida? Uh, a lot of comic book stores in Central Florida are closing up, and it's kind of sad. So, um, headed out to. Um, a uh, comic book shop in Leesburg and I also have some uh, footage from another comic book show in Suffer Hills so put it all together and maybe a little here and there and uh, got a show so um, on my way to the comic book show the comic book store in uh, my mental freeze here Leesburg and uh, see if uh, there's a rumor that it closed up. So I'm going to check it out. YouTube friends in my never ending search to find the answer to the question is what is happening to comic book stores in Central Florida? And they're just closing up. And I'm on uh, uh, Highway 441 in Leesburg. I used to buy comic books at this comic book store and it's closed up. So I'm going to switch the camera around and take a look see uh, what happened here. Okay, YouTube friends, I mean, these are great graphics. Deadpool, Star Wars, that uh, this uh, Secret Wars comic book. This was number eight on the original Secret Wars and this was the first time the black Spider-Man outfit was introduced and of course this is the the uh, story of the death of Superman that was a good one I mean a sad one and uh, this place also had uh, baseball cards We've got Mickey Mantle there and they called this uh, not just cardboard here modern and vintage posters this was a pretty big store it took in all this area here it was actually uh, two storefronts put together coming along here. I can't look inside there because it's all uh, boarded up now. Really very, very sad kind of thing. I mean, uh, it breaks my heart. Uh, I, I don't, I, I guess, I don't know. I guess uh, the biggest thing I think is number one, uh, kids, you know, like, I mean, I started kind of buying uh, superhero comic books when I was about eight years old. And I confess, you know, I bought comic books all through high school. You know, not as much as I bought. Seventh and eighth grade was when I bought the most comic books. The sixth grade, too. And then my freshman year of high school, I bought quite a few comic books. And then it kind of tapered off. But now, uh, the, uh, the older, the older fellas like me, you know, we just don't have the, the, the greenbacks to go and, uh, and you know, I, I, I hate to say it, but the, uh, Silver Age, which is comic books from the 1960s, <clears throat> and the Bronze Age, which is comic books from the 1970s, they just overpriced them, you know, I mean, they just, they're not realistic. I mean, uh, I, I think, I think the COVID virus thing affected these comic book stores too. I tell you, I feel like crying. This just, just breaks my heart. Great comic book store. I, I was in, I came in here a couple times, you know, bought a couple of uh, older Batman comics. Not necessarily in near mint condition, but you know, like very good condition. Yeah, I have a couple of bucks in my wallet and could afford it now and then. Deadpool, Star Wars, Spider Man, and Secret Wars, and the epic death of Superman saga. I miss them, miss them all. I almost feel like crying to see this comic book store closed up.
It really breaks my heart. This is a big comic book store. This is two storefronts here. Really, uh, really, really breaks my heart. Well, YouTube friends, I'm now on Highway 27 in an entirely different section of Leesburg. And this is the very doorway, the very door I went through three or four times to buy comic books at this comic book shop. And it's closed up. And it, it, really, it really kind of breaks my heart. It really is very sad I, to see all these comic book stores closing up. And, you know, I, I don't understand it. So I'm going to uh, switch the camera around and uh, we'll take a look at, at this comic book shop. Uh, I bought a... Um, I bought a, uh, I bought a, I, I bought a 1967 Green Lantern here. It had, it had the checks on the top, and uh, uh, the book value was like thirty, forty dollars, and I managed to get it for ten dollars. I just remember that one issue that I got here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna switch the camera around, and we'll take a bird's eye view of this comic book store that closed up. So here we have it, comics and collectibles on Highway 27. This really breaks my heart. This was a, this was a nice comic book shop. You got a pretty good deal here. Um, could get a pretty good deal on some uh, Silver Age Marvel and DC Comics. Um, I don't know what they're doing here. They got they got a couple lamps in there now. This 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 store was uh, packed with comic books. I mean, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, I got a, a Bronze Age Spider-Man comic book, and it was in pretty good shape. I think it was a 1973 Spider-Man comic book, and I got it uh, for five dollars. And uh, I think the book value was like, you know, in that condition, I think it was very good plus condition. And I think the value was something like $30. I think I got it for $5 or so. They had a blowout sale here and I missed it. And I'm, you know, it was one of those things that, um, you know, Comics and collectibles. Comics and collectibles. And they're gone. I mean, this was a big store, too. Two fairly large comic book stores in Leesburg out of business, banged up. It's really sad. It, right here, this door here. I walked through this door maybe four or five times. You know, so it was almost therapeutic. You go in, you know, you got, you know, you're thinking about all your problems. You go into a comic book store, and uh, <laughs> it's, I mean, not to be sacrilegious, but it's kind of like, uh, kind of in a, kind of a, kind of in a certain way. It's kind of like going to church. You know, you get fellowship with fellow comic book collectors. You talk about the. The, the, the Marvel and the DC and even the old Charlton's they had a, a section and I'm going here by memory here but they had a section here right against this wall here against this wall right here and it was filled with the old Charlton comic books from the 60s and 70s and you could get a pretty good deal on the old Charlton's they were the westerns the war stories, um, the love stories, the Charlton, and then uh, they had a, a couple of uh, wannabe Archie comics, and then they had these kind of uh, haunting ghost stories comic books from the 60s and 70s. Now you could get go in there and get a Charlton comic book for about four or five dollars. I should have bought more, but I really was I'm really not into Charlton that much. Oh, and they had the race car. The racing comic books you know race race car comic books and they also have uh, comic books about the motorcycle racers 
the Charlton. Oh, makes me sad. I'm, I'm genuinely sad. I mean, um, you think, you think, you know, you're, the comic book store is always going to be there, and they're they're dropping like flies. At least here in Central Florida, it really makes me sad. Fare thee well, comics and collectibles. I shall miss thee. Well, YouTube friends, I am in Zephyr Hills and I hit the jackpot here. There's a comic book store. Nerd, Attic, Cards and Comics. But, uh, I'm not sure if it's open or not. It looks like Looks like it closed up here. And I'll get the hours here. Let's see, it is now 10 minutes to 11. And uh, looks like it's uh, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. So I'll check this out another time. Okay, YouTube friends. That's going to wrap it up for this episode of Richard Maybe Presents. Um, kind of a sad, kind of a sad thing to see these comic book shops closed up. Um, but um, I don't know, I guess it's the, you know, maybe part is the COVID factor, people people are buying comic books like they once did you know they're watching the movies the superhero movies but they're not really watching buying the comic books you know so I'm gonna close so uh, stay strong oh I forgot um, if you like this video please smash the like button appreciate it very much and also um, if you have not yet subscribed um, you know hit the subscribe button why not you know and then hit the bell gives you updates on um, you know new films new vlogs new uh, videos that I put up you know doesn't cost you anything just hit the button hit the bell you know so anyway this is Richard maybe signing off stay strong stay happy stay healthy signing off <laughs>